Presented by Chesterfield. Produced and transcribed in Hollywood with John Scott Trotter and his orchestra, Judd Collins with the mayors and Bing's guests, Mildred Bailey, the rocking chair girl, and Hollywood's most famous jazz band, the Firehouse Five Plus Two, who rock pretty good too. And now here's Bing Crosby. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ken. <laughs> we should really roll pretty good here tonight with Mildred on hand and the jazz band. Certainly looks like the accent is definitely on music. And if John Scott and the group are ready, we'll get a rolling with uh, candy and cake. Angel pie, your pet confection. Sweetie pie, she's perfection. Candy and cake. Ah, oh, candy and cake. My honey's as sweet a treat as eating candy and cake. Sugar and spice, about everything nice. And kissing her once ain't half as sweet as kissing her twice. I can be smart, and I can be wise. But oh, when she rolls her roly-poly jelly bean eyes, I shiver and shake, and my heart will just break. If some other love should rob me of my candy and cake. Candy and cake. Candy and cake. My honey, that's sweet. I can be smart, be smart, and I can be wise, be wise, oh, but when she rolls her roly-poly jelly bean eyes, I shiver and shake, my heart will just break, if some other love should ever rob me. That would sure play hot with me If some other love Should rob me of my candy and cake Rob me of candy Candy and cake Right in through here someplace, Ken How about you and me, uh... They have a show currently running on Broadway called Texas Little Darling. Music and lyrics are written by uh, Johnny Mercer and Bobby Dolan. And here's the song that's probably the biggest hit in the show. A fella can get lonesome when he's all alone Out there in the Pacific with no friends to call his own A fella can get lonely out there the Pacific. A fella gets to thinking if he's getting anywhere. A fella gets to wondering how it's gonna be up there. Gets to if he will meet the mayor. When your final chip is cashed and the pearly gates swing wide, there is old St. Peter asking you to come inside. There is old St. Peter, the Lord's official greeter. He whispers, son, go find the seat. I hope you like the show. And then you see a picture of the life you let below. By and by, by and by, can you look yourself in the eye? When you come on the screen up yonder, at the big movie show in the sky. Imagine you are one of that great celestial crowd 
Sitting back relaxing with your feet up on the cloud. Johnny Gadsby Taxin, a sitting back relaxing. You're pouring buttered sunshine on your popcorn white as sleep. And waiting for the latest Stitter Hemisphere release. The stars spell out the title in the cast before your eyes. The show commences on the silver screen they call the sky. The and everything is vital. The past begins unfolding and you see it taking place. And pretty soon you're looking at your own big ugly face. When you come on the screen up yonder at the big movie show in the sky, the big movie show in the Our first guest this evening shares the same hometown with me, Spokane, Washington. And she's certainly one of the most important singers of all time. I can recall, oh, way back in the not-so-good old days with the Rhythm Boys, that Millard Bailey got us our first job down here in Los Angeles. Back in 1926, I think it was. Down at the Tent Cafe, Mike Lyman's Tent Cafe. <laughs> she also saw to it that we ate uh, more or less regularly, and I can recall further that Millard frequently supplied us with a roof. For some time now, Millard's been, well, she's been sort of on the sick list. But she's up and around now, and she's singing again. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Miss Millard Bailey. Thanks, B. Come on, Millie, move right in here now and take over. What are you going to sing? Well, John Scott and I worked out an arrangement on ever-loving Georgia. <laughs> Georgia on the mind? Mm, that's a beauty. Georgia, 
That was wonderful, Mildred. Really great. You're certainly right on the old beam. Don't you think now we ought to try a double on another old favorite? Yeah, Bing. We used to do pretty well with I've Got the World on a String. Oh, that's a good tune. Yeah, Harold Ireland's tune. You started, Mildred. Now clamber aboard somewhere down towards the caboose, huh? I've got the world on a string Sitting on a rainbow Got the string around my finger What a world, what a life I'm in love I've got a song I sing Yes, you have And I can make the rain go Anytime I move my finger Oh, lucky me, can't you see I'm in love Life's a beautiful thing Long as I hold a string, I'd be a silly so and so if I should ever let go. I've got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow, got the string around my finger. What a world, what a life, we're in love. The world on a string, sitting on a rainbow, got the string around my finger. What a world, what a life, we're in love. I've got a song I sing, and I can make the rain go anytime I move my finger. Lucky me, can't you see I'm in love? Life's a beautiful thing. Isn't it a dreamy routine? Mm -hmm. Long as I hold the string, you're in complete control. I'd be a silly so and so if I should ever let go. Hold tight, honey. I've, I've got, got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow. Got, got the, the string around my finger. What a world! What a life! Thanks, Mildred. Thanks a lot. I sure enjoyed that. You know, folks, every Monday night out here on Hollywood's Sunset Strip, an old American La France fire truck, vintage 1923, tugs up to the front door of the Mocambo and unloads the golf down this jazz band that you ever skinned a shin to or fractured a femur, dancing the Charleston with or at or around or toward. <laughs> it's the Firehouse Five Plus Two that I'm referring to. It's headed by Ward Kimball with his tantalizing tailgate trombone. Now, you've heard this band on the Chesterfield program before, and... You're going to hear them now. You're going to hear them whether your radio's turned on or not. <laughs> the Firehouse 5 plus 2 are coming on with That's a Plenty. Here we go, Bing! What's the routine on it? How do you, what's the chorus? How are you going to do it? Well, this is That's a Plenty, isn't it? Yeah, but how's the routine? The well, first we, chorus? We start out with a full band. Full band, yeah. Full treatment. Full treatment, yeah. Yeah, and then we throw in a few banjos and... Clark on clarinet. Yeah, for a chorus. That's right. Yeah. Maybe Danny comes in there with that old mute. How about the turnaround? Oh, I, pu I pull something in there. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> What's that other chorus you got towards the end? Well, that's uh, a chorus we call a tippy toe. The tippy toe chorus. Tippy -toe yeah. chorus. That's the one I want to hear. Okay, man, you ready? Ward, you got your uh, tools, your equipment, your, your weapons? <laughs> ready? Hey, boys!
Now, I'll tell you, fellas, what I'm going to do. I'm going to move right in with you. Move right in, Boyd, what selection in your vast repertoire do you suppose I should shout right in through here? Well, I tell you, we got a pretty good arrangement of please don't talk about me when I'm gone. That used to go very big for me in all the town name joints. I was a smash with this. Let's do that, huh? Here we go, boys. (laughs) Okay. Ready? Ready. Talk about me when I'm gone Oh, honey, though our friendship ceases from now on And listen, if you can't say anything real nice It's better not to talk at all, that's my advice We're parting, you go your way, I'll go mine Best that we do Here's a kiss, I hope that this brings lots of love to you. Makes no difference how I carry on. Oh, baby, please don't talk about me when I'm gone. You go your way, I'll go mine Best that we do Here's a kiss, I hope that this Now I carry on Oh, baby, please don't talk about me when I'm gone I'm gone Mm. Oh, thanks, Ward. And Firehouse Fire, that was great. Well, sir, a few years ago, Gordon and Ravel wrote a song called uh, With My Eyes Wide Open, I'm Dreaming. Darn if it isn't enjoying a big revival. With my eyes wide open, I'm dreaming. Can it be true I'm holding you close to my heart With my eyes wide open I'm dreaming You're with me now sharing a vow never to part I'm so afraid to close my eyes Afraid that I'll find This lovely thrill Is just a silly illusion With my eyes wide open I'm dreaming Do I deserve such a break? Pinch me to prove I'm awake. I can't believe that you're really mine.
with my eyes wide open, I'm dreaming. Do I deserve such a breath? Pinch me to prove I'm awake. I can't believe that you're really made famous by Arthur Tracy, the street singer. Marta, rambling rose of the wild wood. Marta, with your fragrance divine. Rosebud of the day. You'd be mine Martha Now your eyes Beam at twilight Sparkling Like each dewdrop at dawn Martha When I look for Your love light with a sigh and I find you are gone Martha when I look for your love life Awake with a sigh, and I find you are gone. Well, that about does it for this evening, folks. My thanks to Millard Bailey in the Firehouse Five Plus Two for. Being with us this evening. Say, Bing, hmm? who's going to be with you next week? Next week, Mildred, our guest will be Master Lindsay Crosby. Well, you finally hit the bottom of the barrel, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're right down to the short stuff, Millie. Is Lindsay going to sing? Well, I think so. Uh, he's been holding consultations with his publishers. He'll doubtless select his repertoire ere long. You watch the daily papers for important announcements. <laughs> also, we're going to have Miss Carol Richards on the show. Wonderful new girl singer. Well, we'll see what happens next Wednesday, Millard, and thanks again for being with us. See you soon. Good night, Bing. Good night, and thanks, folks. See you next week for Chesterfield, the best cigarette for you to smoke. The Bing Crosby Show, presented by Chesterfield, was produced and transcribed in Hollywood by Bill Morrow and Murdo McKenzie. Tune in next week and hear Bing and his guests, Miss Carol Richards and Lindsay Crosby. Chesterfield also brings you Arthur Godfrey time five mornings a week. And on Saturday night, the Arthur Godfrey Digest, all over these same CBS stations. Folks, to many of you, the month of April means spring flowers and sunshine and the end of winter. But this month, you can help bring a little sunshine into the lives of those suffering from that dread disease, cancer. Statistics show that one out of every five people in America will at some time develop cancer. One in eight will die of it. You can help diminish these figures by giving to the Cancer Fund. Do your part. Join the 1950 Cancer Crusade. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.